So, someone messaged me on Instagram, and they were like, Dave, you've got a problem, man. You drink too many bangs, you're gonna have a heart attack. How many do you drink per day? And, I don't know. Sometimes, I lose count, you know? And, uh, you know, I just... Sometimes, I just lose count, and I just... I just can't keep count of them. Mm. Yeah, so don't don't drink too many banks. So hot, okay. Let's get into today's video. Ooh. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I have just recovered from burning my mouth. I'm no longer cooking eggs on the heated seat. If you would have saw my previous video, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, back in the 2019 Ram 1500, my favorite truck that I've ever owned. I've owned a few trucks and uh, this truck has some really cool features and today I'm gonna go over five of the features that stand out to me and probably you may not even know about them so I want to bring those up there's a lot of cool things with this truck but a lot of those things other trucks have already done and these five things really stand out to me and I think they're kind of unique to this truck so let's go over those so I don't have the 12 inch screen however I do have the 8.4 inch screen with the Uconnect capabilities which pretty much gives you everything you need if you scroll over here and go to settings, there is a lot of settings to be had, but something you may not know is when you go to brakes, there's an auto park brake. I didn't know this, but now the vehicle, and we'll test it out here, we'll go in reverse. Very nice backup camera pops up. Obviously I've got front and rear sensors, so it's letting me know that something is near. And we'll pull forward. And then we're gonna put it in park and watch that. Park brake automatically engaged. Now this is a really cool feature. Um, maybe if you live on a hill, a steep driveway, or if you've always got a trailer connected and you forget to pull the brake. Now this is an electronic parking brake. There is no longer a foot parking brake. So I think this feature is really cool. Like I said, it kind of saves you if you forget. And man, these trucks these days do everything for you. You don't have to remember to do anything. <laughs> so I think that's an awesome feature. So you can turn that off and on under the settings, under brakes, and this will take you just back to your regular screen. So another unique feature while you're actually driving the vehicle is you can pull up your menu over here, hit apps, and you can actually pull up the backup cam and it will show the backup cam while you're driving. Now this, you probably don't want to pay too much attention to this. However, you could check on things behind you, such as the trailer. Um, you know, maybe if you forgot that the chains were hooked up, if you got to plug it in, you can always pull this up while you're driving just to make sure everything is connected. You can always look behind you. Maybe if you're trying to have someone follow you, you can just simply pull up the backup camera. Obviously, you can look through the rear view mirror, but this is a really nice feature and you can even zoom in and look at how dirty the floor or the street is in Amarillo. Oh, hey buddy. And there's a GMC. So this camera is obviously very clear. One of the clearest backup cameras I've ever seen. So it's a really nice feature to have and you can just close out of it. It does automatically close after about 10 to 15 seconds. So we'll see if it does it here. I wanna say it's about 10 to 15 seconds as long as you're not uh, touching the screen. It does automatically shut off after a while, but it is a very cool, unique feature to the Ram and to any of the newer vehicles with the Uconnect system that have a backup camera. And maybe it won't shut off. We're going on like 20 seconds now. Maybe once we start driving. 
Okay, I've failed. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, it must be once you start moving. So here, so now we got a green light. We're gonna start moving. Let's see if this shuts off after a little bit. It should. But man, look how clear that camera is. We just went under a underpass. Okay, there it goes. So about 10, about 10 seconds once you start driving. So that's a really cool feature and you may not use it a lot, but it is something that I find unique with this truck. Another awesome feature of this Ram is if you go into your settings, go down to safety and driving assistance, you've got all these options. Now you have blind spot alert, but you also have trailer length for blind spot alert. And I've got that set on auto. The max is 39 and a half feet, but I'll put a picture here. I don't have a trailer hooked up, but a symbol up here will pop up with the trailer and with the length. And so what that does, if you have blind spot alert in your mirrors, it will actually flash at you and beep at you if there's not enough room when passing someone for the not only the truck, but as well as the trailer to get over. So the truck will beep at you if there's someone close in your lane and you don't have enough room to get over. The truck will also beep at you if you have this turned on auto and if you're towing a trailer, if it realizes that with the length of the truck and the length of the trailer, there's not enough room to get over to lane change. So I think that's really cool and that's an awesome feature. Obviously you should always be checking your mirrors, but sometimes when you're towing a large trailer or a longer trailer, it is tough to tell the depth. So the trailer or the blind spot monitoring system will beep at you when a trailer is connected. And that is a very convenient feature of these new 2019 Ram 1500s. So these Rams definitely have one of the most advanced center consoles in the industry right now. This one does not have the wireless charging system, but you can get that. And it actually says Ram Charger on there, which is named after their two-door SUV from back in the 80s, I believe. But there's a wireless charging system. However, you can toss your phone into that little compartment and it'll hold your phone nice and sturdy. But if you had the wireless charging system, you would put your phone right there and it would charge it for you. But what they've also done is on the inside of the center console here, you've got all these options. Not that you would ever need them because, well, everyone looks everything up in their smartphones these days, but you've got a ruler, a protractor, you know, all these different calculations. You can go from standard to metric. There's conversion charts, fractions to decimals. I mean, I don't even know what this is for. I guess if you're a young kid and you need to study for a college exam, you could use this to your benefit. But the center console, it slides and it also actually has this little flap to separate the storage and what's really cool is on that flap it's kind of hard to see but you've got the different generation of ram trucks down there so i think that's really cool it's got a max fill line that way this can slide easily back and forth and it is a massive center console and you've got the retro cd player which no one's ever going to use but this center console is very nice very well designed and it's got a ton of room a ton of options and four cup holders what could you not like about that to go along with the center console and the rulers that it has you also have these ram bins which are not new the rams have been coming out with these for a few years but if you look on the edge here look at that there's another ruler on the edge sorry camera doesn't want to focus because it's such a small object but there's a ruler on the edge and these bins are, I think they're twice the size they were before, but there's a ruler over there also. So you've got a ruler on the edge of your bins, I guess if you're measuring something back here in the back of your truck, I don't know. But it's there and it's cool. Another very convenient feature of these 2019 Ram 1500s is that they have brought in a reclining seat. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, probably not because they're already reclined, that's why. <laughs> so you can see there's the difference right there. There's a couple inches, but you can recline this back seat and make it a lot more comfortable for your passengers in the back. So we'll recline it. So there's it reclined. It's as if this is the size of a mega cab, but it does not have the extended back. They just actually made the truck longer, which enables you to recline and move the seat back and forth. And this two person seat does recline back. It's already reclined and it can go back like that so now it's not reclined it's still a very nice upright position it's not too far forward but you do have the option to recline it 
I said earlier, there's a lot of really cool features, but those are probably my five most favorite slash unique to the Ram 1500. Now there may be other trucks that have those, but for the new 2019 Ram 1500, that's kind of something that separates it from the previous generation. Now there's a lot of other cool options such as this truck is just a quick order package Laramie and it still has front and rear sensors. It's got tow haul mode. It's got blind spot alert system with the trailer. It's got um, the reclining back seats. It's got the nice large center console. It does not have the wireless charger, but it does have a place to hold a lot of phones. It's got the USB and the high speed charging ports. It has a CD player for I don't know what reason. There is an 110 outlet up front and 110 outlet out back. There's also USBs back here as well. So you've got your outlet, plus you've got your USBs here and a little storage bin right above it. So this truck comes very well equipped already. Um, one of another very cool feature is not only can you pop the tailgate from the remote, you can now do it from right here. So if someone's coming to load your truck because you're lazy and aren't loading things yourself, you could actually drop the tailgate from inside the truck. And what we're gonna do here is we're going to watch that. So we'll hit the backup cam, hit our button, and watch the tailgate fall. So now we're staring at the ground. Only thing is, no one has made one where it goes back up on its own. So we're gonna go have to go pick that tailgate up right now. So those are my five favorite slash unique things about this 2019 Ram 1500. I've owned it about 7,000 miles and I absolutely love this truck. I did have a few problems which I noted in some other videos and um, there is a couple safety recalls which I'll talk about in another video and we'll have to bring that in. But nothing major, that's kind of to be expected when you have the first gen of any vehicle. You know, when you have the first gen Hellcat, there are some problems with the supercharger bearings, first gen Ram 1500, there's always going to be some problems. Any new vehicle that it's a new generation, there's typically small problems that they have to get worked out when you're producing that many vehicles. But overall, I absolutely love this truck. It is my favorite truck that I've owned. There's so many amenities and features for the price. And I think I'm gonna make a video on what I actually paid for this Ram because they have huge incentives on them. As, I mean, you can get a fully loaded truck like this. I won't say the exact price because I wanna make a video on it, but in the low 40s, sometimes the high 30s, you can get a very nice Laramie package um, truck just like this one for a very good price. And that's pretty good considering that all the truck prices have inflated over the years. They're, I mean, used to pay 25 to 30,000 for a very nice Ram 1500 back when they were Dodge in the 90s. And now you're upwards of like 60, 70, sometimes even $80,000 for a 1500 half ton truck. It's insane, it's unreal. But for what you get nowadays, the price is very good on these. So I'll probably make a video on that, like I said. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, this truck is my absolute favorite. I've done some mods to it, and I'm gonna continue to mod it because I'll probably have this truck actually a lot longer than my previous vehicles. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this content on the 2019 Ram 1500. Please comment down below if you'd like to see a different type of video on the Ram 1500 that I haven't done already. Also, what kind of mods you guys would like to see out of the Ram 1500. As always, make sure you like the YouTube page, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat at Bambi39, and we'll see you guys on the next one.